Hey guys and welcome to another C++ tutorial in the Making Games with Ben series. Today we're going to be talking about variables a little more and I'm going to introduce you to two new variables. So first let's talk about white space because I haven't talked to you about this yet. You'll notice I've been programming with four spaces between the previous and closing block and everything inside. That is a good common programming practice that you should always do. So just keep doing basically what I've been doing. You can get rid of these spaces. You can put spaces here and here. Visual Studio basically just, or sorry, C++ ignores these spaces. It just gets rid of them when it compiles your code. But this looks awful, doesn't it? We want to just uh, always have a consistent style so that whenever other people read our code or when we go back and read our code, it all makes sense and it's all really, really easy to read. So let's go over the first variable I'm going to teach you, and that is the char, C-H-A-R, and that stands for character. So what a character or a char holds is essentially just a single letter or a digit or just one symbol. If you've ever heard of an ASCII uh, character sheet or if you've ever uh, heard of people doing ASCII art, those ASCII characters are essentially what this holds. So we'll say char dog equals and then what we're going to do is to get a letter you have to do a single quotes uh, like this and then you can type your letter in there or your symbol or whatever. So we'll say char dog equals the symbol dollar. Say the dollar sign, okay? And we always need a uh, semicolon, always remember. So let's go ahead and see out dog to the screen. You're not supposed to see that. So we should get a dollar sign on the screen. Let's see if it works. There we go. See, we got a dollar sign. Now what if we want to store two letters, right? What if we want two dollar signs or something? Or what if we want to have a name? What if we want Ben, okay, and we have char player name okay what if we want the player's name so that down here we can say your name is player name so you can imagine we're playing a video game right and we ask the player to input his name say we're making a little rpg or a dungeon crawler or something we need to hold on to his name we need to know what we're going to call him whenever the npcs talk to him and stuff right so we need a variable that holds that and you'll recall i've been calling these things strings right any sequence of characters enclosed by these quotation marks i've been calling them strings well, that's because that's what they are and we actually have a variable called a string Okay, so we have string player name equals bin, but this isn't going to work because as you can see, these are single quotes. These are meant for chars. We use double quotes for uh, multi-character uh, sequences for strings. So we're going to do double quotes there, and then now this is going to work. However, we're not quite done, so we can we can initial we can get the string variable, but we can't output it to the screen because we need to include string up here at the top. This is the second library we're going to include. So the string uh, header file here that we're including has some extra stuff for uh, strings that we need. We can use strings even with if we don't include this, but if we want to do something like see out it to the screen, there's extra code in here that will let us do that. So we got to make sure we include string whenever we're using strings for stuff like that. It's always just a safe bet to go ahead and include that anytime you're using strings in your program. So now that we have a string, we should be able to output it to the screen. Let's see if it says your name is Ben. There we go. Your name is Ben. So see, this stuff is not that complicated. You just store values, and then you can output them later. We can modify this if we want. What if we want to change our name? We could say player name equals Fred. So now our player name is Fred. If we copy paste this and we output it again, we should get your name is Fred. It should happen, there we go. Just like we would expect, just like we've been doing with all the other variables. Now there's something special about strings. They're not a normal primitive type. Everything we've learned so far, int, float, right, char, these things are primitives. They don't really have anything special. If we said int a, and we said a dot, there wouldn't really be, you see nothing pops up, there's nothing special. However, if we say, let's say we have player name here, if we say player name dot, if you're in Visual Studio, you'll see a bunch of stuff pops up. That's because this is a class. A class has its own little functions and things it can do that help you out, that give you things uh, functionality. We're going to learn how to make our own classes later, but first let's try to use something in the string class. What if we want to know how long the string is, right? My name is three letters long. Let's see if we can get that. So let's say, see out your name is, and then we're going to say play your name dot length letters long. Oop, forgot the string. Letters long. Okay. 
and let me get some good formatting in here so as you can see I did this dot length and then I used parentheses right here because it's a function just like main is a function remember anything that's a function you just got, always got to remember to put parentheses here that's how it knows it's a function so what this does is it executes a little bit of code what it does is it basically takes our string variable and it counts how many letters there are so it's going to count all the letters and put them right here okay anytime you make a function call with dot length or something like that or anytime you put a variable in you can always just think of it as replacing whatever you typed here with uh, the results of that expression so player name is going to be Ben right player name dot length is going to be the number three because it's going to get essentially replaced by the output of this length function so let's see if that works so we should get your name is three letters long there it is you see it works there's lots of other cool stuff you can do with strings we're going to be able to make our own classes in the future so we can make uh, awesome video game code so stay tuned guys we're going to go over some really cool stuff next episode